Good morning. Welcome to to ACRP live interactive webinar session for the day eight. Streaming on YouTube and Facebook. And the key, what sir? Now, sir, can you just do? So, my hero, so topic to start with. Manchi interesting topic to language functions in spoken English. The topic to Manato Naru, Dr. K. Shiva Garu. Welcome you, ma'am. So, with us, Pukri Shinvas Garu also from Digital Education. Yeah, I think, Mari, let me introduce Dr. Shoba Garu, Dr. Shoba Kane. She is from Chennai, working as Assistant Professor of English in Anna University. And she is known for her good trainings, teacher trainings. You all very know, well know about all these things. Along with that, now Shobha Madam exploring uh, various platform, online platforms, so that uh, which are related to online e-learning, especially online training and uh, e-learning. Because COVID time, it is a very difficult and tough time. The only way by which we can reach to the people is online. So she is exploring on that and uh, empowering the uh, so many uh, fraternity as well as the students in uh, language because she is. Uh, she had a, she's master in English as well as she had a PhD degree from uh, in, in English. So uh, really we are uh, very fortunate to have Shobha Madam for the, today's session. Madam, you're most welcome and start your session, ma'am. Thank you, Ishmael, sir, for that nice introduction. Uh, yes, I think uh, they say desperate times calls for desperate measures. So now in this desperate time of uh, COVID and Corona, we have to reinvent ourselves as uh, teachers and teacher educators uh, trying to explore various platforms. I am also sure you are learning a lot online these days, uh, exploring not only the tools uh, like, you know, uh, now you are watching YouTube, for uh, learning, but also there are a lot of techniques through which we can learn, how we can make notes, uh, you know, how we can try and navigate through the internet to find the right resources. You must be reading lots of PDFs. So all uh, these, uh, you know, ideas and opportunities have been created to us. Try and explore more of it. Uh, on that note, let us start. To Again, today we have a very significant and important topic the topic for the day is language functions for spoken English. Let us go to the session. I will share my screen now. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, yesterday, we shared a feelings wheel on the reading material. On the reading material, there was one big wheel which spoke about how to express our feelings because it was all about words. We decided we will learn how to enhance our vocabulary skills, especially for spoken English. So in that kind of an attempt, what we did was we were trying to find lots of synonyms we were trying to see how we can use a thesaurus. There was a lot of questions about the differences between and a thesaurus. So we explored these areas. So today I'm going to start with the question. The question is, I hope you have all gone through the feelings wheel. In your chat box, I want you to enter how you are feeling this morning. Okay. So use the feeling wheel. There are so many expressions. You can leave out the expressions in the central wheel, right? Because in the center, you have only ideas like happy, sad. You don't have to use those basic words. You can move a little further beyond. You can come to the outer circle where there are so many words related to expressing our emotions. So I'm asking you a question. The question is, enter in your chat box, expressing your emotions, how you are feeling this morning. Three seconds to do that. I can see answers already coming. 
great cloud 9 happy lovable fantastic awesome some more strong words can be have good excited i don't want repetitive words coming in so let us see who are all typing words from the outer wheel okay anxious about the topic you don't have to feel anxious at all about the topic enthusiastic okay somebody is feeling pretty lazy fantastic pleasant great so now we can see how the mood is very jubilant everybody is very enthusiastic ready to learn so what we are going to do now is explore language functions what we did just now is also one of the main functions of language what is that function i questioned you and what did you do you replied via the chat box and when you replied you gave a word which was expressing your emotion so we did three things i questioned you answered and you articulated your emotion or you expressed your emotion these are the three basic things in human communication right as soon as you get up at morning what do you ask you ask someone in the house can i have a cup of coffee of course i will ask who wants to drink coffee in the morning and i will prepare coffee so most of us questions are parts of communication so we have to learn how to question in spoken english questioning is a very important function and then of course replying whenever we are replying there are so many tactics to reply some of us are very clever like if we say who wants to drink coffee the first question will be who will make the coffee so some people will ask a question to our question as a reply so replying is also a very important skill in language how do you reply and another key aspect of language function is expressing our thoughts when i say expressing the human mind has so much to express we express our abilities you know sometimes i tell you i can give a youtube lecture so i'm expressing my ability i can train teachers so you will say i can train students i help a lot of students so that is your ability our potentials we try and express sometimes we also express our feelings that are not very pleasant for all this we need different words so yesterday i gave you the word wheel the feelings wheel and today i am asking you a question based on that this is called the process of priming what is priming so yesterday when i introduced all the words i expected that you would have gone through the words so i am preparing you so priming refers to preparation a kind of a pre activity an activity you do before the activity so only when i give you the wheel you will be able to identify the words that you want to express so most of us will not know the meaning of the words on the outer wheel but the central wheel it helps us to connect so priming also has to happen in a very strategic manner it has to happen in a very logical manner okay so let us try and see what language functions are all about language functions again refers to our basic communication so look at this thought every time we communicate it is for a particular reason the function of the language is nothing but that reason if there were no reasons to communicate then language would never have developed i hope all of you will agree with me most of the times communication also happens without language right we can listen even without language we saw how a mother to 
the baby we saw how a doctor listens to the heartbeat all this happens without language okay so every time we communicate there is an important reason so if you want to say something if you want to ask something if you want to share something that is the reason without reason we usually don't communicate right that is called language functions don't uh, uh, assume that language functions is a big concept in learning english language function is nothing but the reason for communicating so we are going to see what are the various language functions and examples so the road map for the session first thing we are going to see is what is a language function then we are going to see components of language function and then it is spoken skills for expressing functions very simple only three things today let us move on to the first slide so i had already explained that function refers to the reason for communicating so a language function is obviously the purpose of speaking that sentence or phrase when i told you how are you all feeling today the purpose was to question you to find out now say for example if i am saying i am sorry what function is it representing apologizing apologizing means saying sorry we write apology letters sometimes our students write apology letters good morning reception of greeting so when we greet somebody we use certain words we say shubhodayam so i learned this word from ismail sir so shubhodayam means good morning i want to greet i want to smile right because human beings are very reciprocative what is reciprocative we imitate each other when i smile you also will be smiling right so it's called greeting the purpose is greeting so these two are again some more language functions there are several approaches to language learning right if you look at the history of english language teaching we have several methods some methods grammar translation we have okay so audio lingual method communicative method so now lot of the post method is there so no method at all is say whatever is important to your context but then function based language learning okay learning language from the point of view of function they say that facilitates accurate and fluent communication so if you want accurate and fluent communication then you have to approach language learning in a function based manner so what are the components of language functions talking about personal habits so usually when we are talking with somebody what do we usually say this morning also my sons were talking today is june 5th if we were at school we will be participating in all the environment day competitions i will be doing this speech before a big class but i have to record in my mobile and send every day habits have changed a lot right otherwise you will be saying now june 4th june 5th these are all school inauguration days all of us will be so busy how our habits so we talk about habits even without anybody asking us you know when we meet somebody we say i usually take this bus but today you know i missed the bus habits expressing likes and dislikes we say yeah i like this movie this movie was great what are the words we can use what are the functions expressing reasons for likes and dislikes so first one is expressing likes the sec after that you have to say the reason also i like this movie because it has a great story i like this pen because it writes smoothly so that sentence structure we have to learn expressing a preference i prefer coffee to tea so when you are using prefer you have to use to comparing okay so sometimes we say product a is cheaper than product b talking about recent changes yes this is something all of us are talking about now there are so many changes in our lives lifestyle 
how can we speak about recent changes contrasting when you want to show the difference contrast means difference suggesting when you want to give some advice when you want to express your opinion giving your opinion in my opinion using product a is better than using product b giving reasons for opinions because you have to give a because and a reason for your opinion also explaining now what am i doing i am explaining language functions to you speculating so when i am explaining what are the words that i use i introduce the topic then i speak about the topic i give you a definition and examples so speculating means guessing sometimes we guess things that we don't know and sometimes we also guess things about the future and then we also express our plans intentions hopes for the future sometimes we also clarify things if i am telling you is this that book you were talking about yesterday you will tell me uh, no it is not this book ma'am it's a different book so you will clarify and sometimes we have to explain a word when you have forgotten right sometimes what happens um, say for example i want to use a word but then i forgot that word so what i am trying to do i am substituting that word with a different word so that also happens and generally speaking now what we have done through these 17 functions is we have seen 17 reasons for our communication there are more reasons but i cannot just so know that learning all the functions learning all the sentence structure can help us in accurate and fluent communication but in a one hour session that is not going to be possible in the reading material i have given you lots of examples with explanations for these functions we will look at the most important functions with examples so that you can start using them so yesterday many of them have commented use it or lose it that stuck to our mind ma'am so if you want to lose anything you can just keep it somewhere without using but if you want to master something you have to keep on using it so these 17 are general reasons in our life that we use to communicate so try using these sentences okay so moving on spoken skills for expressing functions look at this when you cannot believe something that you are seeing or hearing you will be saying i am in disbelief you must be mistaken i don't believe it are you sure are you serious are you kidding really no way you can also see how my pronunciation changes the intonation changes because as you can see in the diagram there is an arrow mark and the first sentence the second sentence these are all very formal in a formal situation sometimes when we speak we have to use these kinds of sentences or expressions but when you are talking in an informal way if you are talking with your colleagues or if you are talking with your children your students if you can't believe anything you'll say really but in a formal situation when you are talking to a stranger we usually say sorry you must be mistaken this is the house that you are looking for you can't believe that the person is saying no this person lives in this house when you know that is wrong okay so run through the expressions again when i say run through i mean you i want you to read through the expressions again so there is a formal context and there is an informal context so the expressions depend on where you are going to use it now uh, again we are going to do a small activity i am going to tell you a sentence i am going to express something and you are going to express your disbelief okay whether you believe it or not you are going to use one of these expressions using one of these expressions you are going to give your answer 
Are you ready? Here is the question. What will you say if I tell you the whole COVID-19 pandemic was just a bad dream? Okay. So I'm reading the question again. What will you say if I tell you You disbelief now. How are you going to express your disbelief? I'm showing the previous slide. You can use the slide refer and you can give me an answer. If somebody is telling you something that you cannot believe, what will you say? You have started entering. I don't believe it. Are you kidding? No, it's not. So, I agree with you. I am in disbelief. Okay, that's a good answer. Very formal communication. So, many are writing exactly, really. It's a nightmare. It's not a dream. Some people are writing. Oh, really? Many of you are very happy. Looking at this sentence, I think. Thank you. Thank you for all your responses. That kind of helps that you are very interactive. You are following the presentation. So this is how you express your disbelief. Somebody, when they are telling you something that you cannot believe, what are you going to do? You are going to say, you must be mistaken. I don't believe it. Are you sure? Are you serious? Are you kidding? Really? No way. So now you have mastered a few expressions for expressing your everybody who typed the answer. Let us move on. This is the question. Now, requesting silence. This is also an important function because these days all of us are attending so many meetings, so many webinars are happening. And are when movies, they are enjoying, okay? And we want some silence. You know how children are. During the month of May, the whole street is very noisy. Amazingly or, uh, you know, uh, unusually, this May, the streets were very silent. So if you want to request silence, especially in classrooms, teachers, we do this a lot, right? We have to request silence many times. Look at the expressions that we can use. Would you mind being a little quieter? Okay, say you are meeting a stranger and you know there is so much noise. We have to ask like this. Could you, would you, these are all very polite expressions. Would you mind being a little quieter? Could you please keep it down? So keep it down again. This is a multi-word. Yesterday we uh, understood what multi-words are. I hope you remember. So can you please keep it down? Could you please keep it down? Especially in formal situations, in official situations, somebody whom we don't know. Quiet, please, we say. Inside voices, please. In theaters, they will say. Inside voices. Okay, not outside voices. In public, sometimes we scream, which is also bad manners. Please lower the volume. I can't think because it's so noisy. And sometimes very informally when our students are there or when our friends are there, we simply say, shh. Okay. So I have a question for you again. I want you to type the answer in the chat box using one of these expressions. What is the question? You are watching this webinar and your family watches television in a very high volume. What will you say? Okay. So the question is, you are watching this webinar, maybe on your mobile phone or on your laptop without headsets. And your children, your parents, your uh, you know, spouses, they are watching television in a very high volume. Okay. So what will you say at this? I'm going to show you the previous slide. What will you tell your family? So use one of these expressions and type your answers. So I'm asking you to type the answers so that 
we will assimilate we will internalize the sentence structure please lower the volume okay could you please keep it down quiet please i will use the headphones so somebody is very scared of the family okay of course your family will tell you if you want to watch it why don't you use your headphones but now we know how to request silence please lower the volume please reduce the volume okay please reduce the volume will you okay i think he will ask his children with that tone you cannot ask your spouse in that tone right i think i will uh, ask my uh, you know my spouse like could you please keep it down or quiet please i won't say shh or will you okay that was a good one so again thank you for being so interactive and typing all the answers i'm telling you again this task we have to reinforce the idea just reading will not help right so we have to write also once that's why i'm asking you to read listen watch understand and also type and there is a context also this is the context the context is that you are watching the webinar okay let us move on to the next uh, function express encouragement now this is very essential for teachers because as teachers i think it is our job to encourage our students i usually in my class when a student is moving from 40 marks to 50 marks or if a student is moving from 30 marks to 45 marks i call that student and i speak very encouragingly the students who have got 80 marks and then they move to 100 marks they become a little upset and they ask me madam i scored 100 but you are not encouraging me you are talking to that student right but as teachers we know that the student who is improving at a lower level is also putting a lot of hard work okay so let us try and see what words of encouragement we can use please try and get more marks or do this better you can say anything and then sometimes you can say almost there when a student is running a race you are like you are almost there keep going don't stop sometimes we say you can do it and then sometimes our children when they are writing their homework they will say uh, you know mummy can i write this tomorrow please we have to encourage and try and make them finish the homework you are almost done it's just some more no finish it off we say we have to encourage sometimes we say don't give up and sometimes when they dress up and you know when they come we have to say you are looking good keep it up simple phrases we can to express encouragement so let us see the question your student aims to score a 100 in maths but misses by a mark or two what will you tell the student this is a very common scenario in our classrooms okay because maths and 100 i don't know there is some kind of an attraction students also know well that they can score a 100 only in maths so what will be your answer in this situation the student is saying oh i didn't score 100 this time also what will be your response how will you encourage the student okay we have started to give your answers keep it up very good keep it up you are almost done so you are almost done can be used for certain situations where somebody has come till the last but then they okay so how can we encourage the student you are almost there that is a good expression so it is now i am you know getting the feeling of a real classroom how in the classroom students will give answers we get all right and wrong answers then we discuss then we say why this answer is wrong when you are uh, doing it in the chat box you can always achieve it try again no problem time keep it up don't worry keep it up you are almost done great achievement better luck next time okay so these are all certain ways of um, entering answers for encouragement very good let us move on to the next uh, apologies now every day 
there is some situation where we have to express our apology and uh, i don't think saying sorry is a very difficult thing to do in life we have to say sorry many times sometimes when student asks me questions you know when some students are asking me and i don't know i say i'm um, i should be knowing this but i will look up and i will come and tell you the answer you have to use the words like please accept my sincerest apologies now this is for a very formal situation okay not for a classroom situation i am very sorry for you know, sometimes we shout at students sometimes we can say hey i am very sorry you know i got very upset when you did that yesterday we saw how upset is different from feeling annoyed furious raged so the intensity excuse me for pardon me sorry about that sorry or sometimes among friends we say oops sorry okay so informal means very friendly communication formal means in a very uh, official situation now imagine your colleague's mother passed away what will you actually say how will you express your apology at that time because when it comes to spoken english for course classroom and staff room both are equally important staff room is where you can actually practice your spoken english a lot so the situation is one of your friends mother passed away what will you say you can use one of these of course you can definitely not say so, whoops or sorry you have to choose the appropriate answer this is like an mcq you have to choose the appropriate answer what will you say in that kind of situation yes you have started entering the answers let me check i am so sorry sorry about the news oh i am sorry to hear that i am so sorry accept my condolences accept my grief yes so when we enter these uh, answers in the chat box what i am actually expecting is the others who are watching and who are unable to enter it for some reason can just read through the answers that way also we can learn this is called collaborative learning okay in classes we do group activities but here we cannot do any group activities so we are using this method okay this is the question expressing praise we are as teachers be generous in expressing praise because compliments or praises are very important in relationships whether it is a family relationship or professional relationship i think teachers are also very good at that you know as teachers when we dress up well when we go and do something fantastic our friends keep cheering us there is so much of discussion during the lunch break about the food you bring about your students and students also want praise i think as teachers we should be very generous when it comes to praising our students it is only because somebody praised us that we are doing things in a much better way today right all your motivating uh, messages all your comments all your compliments in the chat box they help me to work more you know they encourage me a lot so we should always know how to praise others so says are all certain sentence frame usually with our students we say that's great that's excellent that's marvelous how nice to see you do these things excellent achievement in mathematics in science in your speaking skills wonderful progress how great to see you in this place how great to see you in this position sometimes we meet our students after 10 or 15 years and they will be telling us stories about their school days they would have achieved a lot right so we will be trying to you have a flair for languages we can say so there are several frames that we can use now your student wins a state level speech contest what will you tell what will you say your student comes and tell you sir madam i went to this uh, speech contest and i won 
what are some of the things as i can see in your chat box you don't have to use the words that is given only here you can use your own expressing praise uh, sentences also you don't have to pick one you can use your own sentences also because when others are watching the chat box let them let them also learn lot of other phrases okay yes i can see the answers now excellent achievement congratulations you did a tremendous job oh that is very motivating stupendous best of luck super splendid performance i am very proud of you yes i think sometimes as parents also we have to express our praise now and then for our children i think as parents we don't uh, you know we are a little reserved and we think if we praise our children too much you know then they might uh, feel over confident but then as parents also we have to express our uh, praise now and then so the, there are all so many words here we can say wonderful good job nice try excellent way to go great okay these are all some words for expressing praise now opinions when you are giving your opinion there are certain words that we use this is also an important language function because many of us are sharing opinions on a daily basis whether we like it or not okay whether the others like it or not we give our opinions so having thought about it having thought about it i feel this is a good idea this is a bad idea to be honest i like the idea of you know you can try and complete the sentence in my opinion this was truly useful this was truly useless i thought that this will be this will be safe but then it's bitter it was actually well it is very useful well it is a waste of time well it is a great opportunity so you can try and use these kinds of words when you want to express your opinions so i have a question for you now what do you think about online learning what do you think about the this mode of communication i want you to type your answer in the chat box you can use the frames here please use a complete sentence take your time i will wait there is something called teacher wait time in classes we usually learn more about teacher talk time and student talk time but there is something called teacher wait time as teachers we never wait for answers we ask a question and then we move to the next question so i'm going to practice i want you to think an answer what do you think about online learning think an answer but i want you to answer with the frames don't simply put good bad good bad i want you to think about it and then i want you to answer i think it is motivating us okay i want your opinions on online learning so if you can use these frames and then write the sentence i will be very happy but of course even in classrooms we don't get the same answer which we are expecting right when we tell our students what is your name we tell them say my name is so and so but they will simply stand and tell their names what do you think about online learning in it is useful some of them have written awful also because you know as in problem of confusing awful and awesome i don't know or maybe they think that uh, uh, traditional learning is best and online learning is difficult for them okay so many answers are coming thank you for all your answers so moving on to the next slide opinions again there are some other ways of expressing opinion you can use these phrases also i'm going to quickly run through with the expressions alone after this so what is your opinion about developing your spoken english skills what do you think 
do you think right. it is possible okay you can just type your answer now what is your opinion about developing your spoken you can use these sentence frames and each time i am waiting for your answers so this is your question what is your opinion about developing spoken english skills i'm showing you the sentence frames so that you can start using okay i think it is a good opportunity i think it is possible i'm very glad that i'm learning okay i am getting better okay that can be the biggest motivation for me also when we get better at something because of our practice that will be excellent right so these are all some of the frames or words that we can use phrases that we can use when we have to try and express our opinion okay formal and informal sometimes we say we want to express warning please be aware of be careful this could be dangerous wait please watch out so sometimes if you want to express warning to our students you know our students are so playful they do so many things if you want to express warning we can use these words this is an important language function i have a question for you here Imagine your students are running on slippery floor during the rains. What will you say? Okay, this is this can be very dangerous. Usually, now, um, you know, the students they get into a different mood. They keep running in the corridors. They make so much of noise. Okay, so but as teachers, we have to warn them. We also cannot encourage them. Yeah, you can go out and run. we don't say that right as teachers even as parents we don't do that so when you see a student or when you see some students running on slippery floor in rain what will you try and say how will you tell them you will say look at that you will say take care please watch please watch your step we will say be careful don't run be cautious we have very caring teachers here you know i think you you will be giving words like no don't do that don't run stop you are all uh, taking lot of care and you are saying that can be dangerous running could be dangerous on slippery floors don't do that it's very dangerous be aware of the slippery floor walk slowly please okay so there are so many ways in which you can try and tell your students expressing warning sure now if you want to express certainty if you want to express certainty you will be saying that's absolutely right without a doubt there is no about no doubt about it of course exactly if i am saying something that you are also thinking the same thing if you are thinking you will be saying exactly exactly my thoughts i am sure i am positive on this i am positive that it will rain today of course chennai has no signs of raining yesterday we had some lightning with a little motivation and regular practice you can master spoken english with a little motivation and extra practice you can master spoken english what will be your response i want you to give your answers using the words here so the question is with a little motivation and regular practice you can master spoken english what will be your response mag distance put there distance put there lot so your response can you please type your response for this what will be your response can you type your response are you certain about it exactly without doubt of course so you can use all these words i am positive there is no doubt about it okay very good good students sure 
giving permission most of our students will ask permission you know they will come and tell us ma'am i want to go for sports practice ma'am i want to go home early sometimes we don't allow that but sometimes we also give permission these are some of the words that we can use if you want to say hello these are some of the words so you know all these things so i am not uh, stressing on that too much now giving a compliment this is very important right when we want to give a compliment usually you know we say this is nice but what are the other ways of saying excellent fantastic wonderful incredible extraordinary marvelous so you can use these kinds of sentence frame if you want to give a compliment making a suggestion if you want to give a suggestion in school meetings you know sometimes they will ask you oh, what do you think about uh, this lesson do you have any new ways to do you can say you kind know, of doing this lesson is why don't we try this one possibility of doing this is so these are all various phrases that we can use to make a suggestion sometimes we also express sympathy right when some student falls or when we go and try and help a student we say oh poor thing you fell down sometimes we give a lot of advice to our students so please run through all the phrases go through the phrases you can use these phrases for expressing the function of giving advice complain this event whenever we call there are so many things that we want to complain right these days we are having network issues power issues power uh, cuts so we call and we make complaints and then there is saying goodbye okay so many of you when you see me you will be telling me very nice madam to having me you know met you and uh, discussing so catch you later so these are all some words for saying goodbye when you want to ask something you have to use these words excuse me may i have can i please have okay so how you express something actually depends on your social standing please remember you cannot use the informal terms in formal way it depends on how well you know the other person who is listening the circumstances under which the communication occurs so you have to keep all these things in mind when you are trying to use the expressions that we saw so these are all the language functions that i wanted to share with you now how can we teach our students language functions how can we include language functions in classroom transaction how can we incorporate teaching language functions inside a lesson in the classroom that we are going to see and for that i am going to invite a teacher who can help us out in finding how to do classroom transaction okay so i will join you after some time for the question and answer session now i request the teacher to explain how classroom transaction can be done i will stop sharing my screen ismail sir i hope yes. sir is online so it is important for us as teachers to use classroom transaction and also include lot of language so how we can do that because we have to use to certain extent bilingual method right so we have to use bilingual method before we do the transition and how we can use the textbook see the textbook contains lots of materials which have been done exactly for this reason how you can teach language functions using the textbook so in any lesson students we can teach language functions so especially in classroom situation now say for example in a story say for example in the hare and tortoise story all of us know the story so when the hare is coming and introducing we can say this is the concept of introducing and sometimes when somebody is saying sorry in the story we can say how this particular character is asking sorry and then you can highlight that now why we have to do that is purely because only when we do that 
students will be able to take that sentence structure and use it in their communication outside the classroom also within the classroom also so we have to create lots of opportunities for learning inside the classroom and how textbook can be very useful so as you saw in the presentation language functions are very important for us to communicate so why language functions inside a spoken english class because we speak english or any language for that matter with a particular reason in mind right so we have a reason for communication and that reason is language function in the coming days you will be seeing various language functions and the examples that you can use in order to describe or explain because as teachers we have to explain many things to our students so when we have to explain or describe what are the sentence frames that we can use so there are going to be lots of ready made phrases that you can pick up and you can use in your classrooms just like what we did today as answers to the questions i asked about expressing our feelings so you all expressed various ideas your opinions if you are believing or disbelieving whether you are agreeing or not because these are the basic language functions that anybody will require be it students or teachers that's exactly why we learned So, madam, Baba madam, we will be explained about the language functions. Yes, the language functions are the best tool to generate language among the children. Our new textbooks are illustrated, embedded with the uh, appropriate content, linked with the pertinent activities. So, I have chosen uh, language activity introducing oneself. So here, the main intention of our teaching strategy is to transform the child from caterpillar stage to butterfly. Here, um, mano, Vidya Dillo, mano, ok, Bharanga, Bhavan, Chumanda, Target ka jani, ok, Anand Dai ke main baata banana lo, mano, Angal baata na, chhe jani ke mano, ok, kya main chali? I have taken one uh, sample here. Uh, I am going to present a model transaction regarding. Uh, this uh, class two, class three transaction language function. So we have have taken self introduction. self putting reaction is an activity so my object to or enable the children in using language function self introduction make the children free from the hesitation and be able to share his interest with others so here i followed three step strategy first one presentation practice second one practice and product so i am going to the transaction children how are you so be, before going to uh, the topic i am I am trying to um, check whether you are in attention or not. No, I am doing an activity. See whatever I say, you follow. So I have, uh, I have said, raise your, raise your right hand. Down your right hand. Touch your nose. Okay. No, you follow whatever I say. You do not follow whatever I do. See. Touch your nose, hey, Ramesh. You did wrong. What is it? You are you are following what I did here. Touch your stomach. Okay, very good. So here is the activity to test whether you are in attention or not. See, I have taken this um, sample. See, uh, dear these children. I want you to know how to introduce yourself when you meet new people. So here, you see who is he? Oh, okay. Uh, I feel that I am Tanali Rama. Mr. Madhagaru, do you have any presentation screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, just uh, share screen. Press the ND. 
you follow whatever is say okay touch your nose hey ramesh you did wrong i said you touch your nose but you followed what he did here touch your chin hey radha you did wrong what is say it i said you touch your chin but you touch your stomach you followed what he did but you have to follow what is say okay next go on next so i am Here in this lesson, I have uh, chosen self-introduction. These are the objects who have chosen the this enable the children using language function self-introduction, make the children free from hesitation and able to share their interest with others. Next, I followed the three-step strategy: presentation, practice, and product. So, uh, as the time is running short, I will finish it then. And now, I may say, dear children. Now, I want you to know how to introduce yourself when you meet new people. See here, another one. My picture is here. See how he introduces. Hi, children. I am Kanari Rama. I am voice in the court of Sri Krishna Devaraya. I am popular as just. Yes. See children. Now, tell me, dear sweet great children. How many ages? What do you say? Ah, he addressed the children. Oh, what is his name? Anandi Rama. Very good. Very good. What is he? He is a poet. Very good, Radha. Right. Where does he work? He works in the post of Sri Krishna Devaraya. Very good. Very good. How oh, is he popular? What do you say? No, no, no. Ram. Who is he? Oh, he is popular as a guest. Okay. Next. T. Now let me introduce myself. Okay, so hello, dear sweet great children. My name is Tashadri. I am a teacher at Jackie High School, Marana. I am a I am popular as a science teacher. What did you observe? What did you observe the difference between me and Tanali Ramakrishna? How did he address? He addressed hi children. How did I address? Three great children. Very good. Is there any difference between me and another one? Is fine addressing. Yes. He addressed you. He addressed you. Yes. Hi, children. I address you. Hi, three great children. What did you tell? Your name. Oh, my name. My profession. My working place. How I am popular. Very good. My dear three great children. So that is the proof. इधर ने संसार तीसर का था इधर लो ये वो बात मंचवार एंटिंग करने को नहीं नहीं का था इनके अंते इन में मनी स्पीड ग्रेट चेंज ना ना लो कहीं तनाव रैंक कर सिजेस्ट मेरे हाई चेंज ना नहीं पालक रिंग चेंज का था ना तो परे इपुन्ने नो इन ऑर्डर को ताना हे नो करा जो स्टैंड अप एंड टेल अस अबाउट यू ओ Sir, oh wonderful! See how he is, how he is included. See he replaced the friends in the place of uh, children. Very good, very good application. Yes. My name is Mukharaju. I am a class at MPP School, Maradam. I am popular as a bright boy. Very good, very good. This is I want. See go for the next, next. Radha, you stand up and say. Okay. Hello, dear friends, sweet friends, and sir. Oh, Radha. Very good. He changed the uh, way of addressing. What do you want, Radha? Sweet friends, you know, Radha. He has made children great sweet friends. Oh, this is the way of creativity. This is the way of receiving. Very good. Very good. My name is Radha. I am studying third class at Jackie High School, Maranam. I am popular as a good girl. Uh, next. Very good, Radha. Very good. So, dear, bubbly, chubby children, dear bubbly, chubby children, 
I want you to know more about me. I go to school on foot. I go to school on foot. So, uh, Gauri sir goes to school by walk. Tarak sir goes to school by a car. You understand? Now, my favorite subject is science. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite game is cricket. My favorite teacher is Sri Devi Madam. Okay? Did you listen? Did you catch it? Next. Go. Uh, go for the next. This is your turn. Okay? So, uh, Krishna, let me know about you more. So, here I have given some hints. I go to school. What do you say? How do you come to school? Uh, I go to school. Bye bye, still. Very good. Bye. Very good. So, next, my favorite subject is. Oh, very good. Mathematics. Mathematics. Say complete sentence. My favorite subject is mathematics. My favorite color is pink. Very good. Very good. My favorite teacher is Sarada Madam. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, here. Right, sir. Uh, children, uh, now I am going to. Uh, try to finish in uh, uh, one minute, sir. Okay. Okay, my dear children, we are under quarter end circle span. Yeah, that children will learn that. Ten, twenty students will learn that. We are under end circle span. See, now, okay, you are under circle, or out of circle. Okay, when I am in middle, middle, then ah, middle, what is that? We are under, under, under. I go, Lamma, da. I go. I am under this one, that one, that one. Give all to middle interaction. That means self interaction. Just go, Lamma, da. Okay, now, now first interaction. Me, good, see, me, dear, two, three, four, five, six, go, Ali. Start learning. Stop. Ah, uh, you introduce yourself. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Start. Start. Ah, uh, okay. La, pilla na abedanga. Aya ki bati language game ni inval chasta mandi. Abedanga baal chasta baal 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 pakono baal baal introduce chete bhi chipta mo. Aar Hindu saari pora mala. But favorite colors to favorite subject to baal ki bhi introduce chete ani ki mani ready chasta mo. Next to ikkara mano homework ki bata ledu. We are not giving them any homework. We are giving an activity at home. Discuss about the activity with your family members. Bhai pillalo vinnar kadra. Have you listened what it? What we discussed here? This activity has to be discussed at your home. Yes. Me under kora integrally. Me nana garu to matra dandi. Nana nana. My name is so and so. I am studying this class. I am studying third class. My favorite class is being so. No kora chupna nana nu. Me nara English na to. Apni jab pari nana. You have to tell like this and you have to discuss something with the with your father and. वाल तू वालों की नींद शायद करना राग बोलना वो स्टेम मंच दे राग बोलते वाले वाला रहने को नहीं यू हैव टू मोड ऑन योर पेपर एंड कम विद योर डायरी विद डायरी इधर का तो स्टूडेंट डायरी ऑन करा यू हैव टू राइट दोस थिंग्स ऑन योर डायरी इट इज़ द वे वी कैन इंपैक्ट द लैंग्वेज फंक्शन in our classroom uh, briefly and let our children feel classroom is an abode of happiness feel free and feel happy when transacting lesson we will definitely uh, succeed in this way of transaction and we have great responsibility to transform the children into a great citizen so we have to shoulder this responsibility and make everything successful we shall address sorry for causing inconvenience some kind of in uh, Interruption placed in the internet. Um, so, uh, okay, oh, no I'm problem, no problem, sir. Shishadri Garu, no problem. Stop sharing your screen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you, Shishadri, sir. So I can see the amount of uh, enthusiasm uh, teachers have when it comes to classroom. and uh, it is really difficult that teachers have been kept away from classrooms for so many months so now we saw a sample transaction activity i am sure that the teachers who are watching this will have several original ideas of their own how to do this kind of an introduction activity starting from the textbook so it is very important for us uh, it is very important for us as teachers to keep doing these activities bilingually you know we have to do this bilingually and only then we have to start uh, the entire idea in slowly we'll have to gradually move to uh, bilingual multilingual and then we can see how they are picking up 
the language english of you will have excellent ideas which you have already implemented in the class this is how we can on language functions in the class so uh, thank you sheshadri garu and uh, thank you ismail sir we can now move on to the q and a session yeah thank you very much ma'am uh yes uh, madam uh, so for uh, q and a actually <laughs> And we said so many queries because we have given some uh, activity, <laughs> no? So that is the yeah. Let's see. Uh, is the uh, M G Mobina? She is asking that is the function of language is constant or a, a dynamic? Keep on changes. Very good question. It's a very good question. Uh, thank you for asking that question. Definitely. the functions of language keeps changing it is a very dynamic concept language itself is dynamic times we say that technology is dynamic and it keeps changing it keeps updating i will say that language is the biggest technology we have it is the most dynamic organic you know it's very organic because depending on times language changes if you remember yesterday we did ad hoc vocabulary right we saw about active passive vocabulary we also discussed ad hoc vocabulary so ad hoc vocabulary kind of proved it to you that language accommodates various ideas that comes to it in that time and also expresses the ideas so definitely functions are very dynamic it keeps changing the way we talk when we go to a railway station the way we talk when we go to a market is different we use all our bargaining skills in a vegetable market you know when we speak in an airport we sound very different we cannot use the same language functions that we use so uh, language functions are very dynamic thank you very much madam that's a nice answer uh, yes uh, time is uh, late no i'll ask only another single question Yeah, we can. We repeat uh, regular uh, uh, questioning person uh, Dharmala Jay Kumar from Bimali. Every day there is a question one or two from him. I don't know That's who is uh, Jay Kumar. Uh, okay, focusing only on functions can turn it to an access for just a memorizing uh, speech uh, specific phrases only. So that can we mix a grammar based learning into functional to obtain functional goals? yeah that's a very good question in fact i think uh, jay kumar garu is at a higher level of usage when it comes to language he has mastered most of the concepts uh, he has very keenly observed and he says when we are focusing more on language we are focusing on structures and we are memorizing structures but why can't we teach grammar also we have have to and think that grammar is implicitly taught grammar is inside all these frames that i showed you but we are not starting from parts of the speech yesterday also when we were discussing vocabulary i got many comments saying we can start from parts of speech noun verb and then we can also go into the grammatical constructions but then we should understand that language functions helps in fluent communication and for spoken english fluency and accurate that is why we are focusing on language functions as you said grammar is a very important component but somehow grammar is inductively being taught without giving explicit grammatical instructions thank you jay kumar garu for the question thank you very much ma'am before closing one more uh, question this will be the last question uh, rankaya kakarla how can we develop language functions among the lower class students and we have any tips sure. when it comes to the lower classes we can check with them what is actually necessary for their situation we know that at the age of uh, you know 6 7 8 there are only certain things students will be expressing there are uh, maybe they will not be encouraging other students you know uh, but then they need to learn how to apologize they need to learn how to introduce themselves when somebody comes so we can pick four or five language functions and we can give them training in that particular spoken english forms so that they can master that instead of teaching them all the language functions so it depends on the context 
thank you very much ma'am uh, really thank you sir good topic and nice presentation uh, with uh, sheshadran naid garu there is a technical issue we have faced uh, general and beginning what will happen thank you for the audience patience they have been very patient with us so thank you of course these technological glitches are above us we are not in control of it thank you ismail sir for uh, nicely managing the situation so thank you very much ma'am so is my job Uh, then uh, we'll meet uh, with another topic tomorrow. Uh, really, uh, on Monday we'll meet uh, with uh, introducing oneself topic with Dr. Munshita Hazare Pandey, faculty of Ambedkar University, Delhi. We'll wait for um, Monday. So till then, please stay tuned with our uh, channels, and there's a subscribe symbol below. Uh, no, in the window. please subscribe the channel so that you can get notifications also so thank you very much and bye for the day dhanyawad thank you